Hello, thanks for joining me today in this video and welcome to Kinsale. Uh, beautiful view from our venue here. Today I thought I would show you a little bit of behind the scenes of my fairly new business. We've been running for just over a year and we run child-led playgroups uh, in Cork in Ireland. So I thought I would give you a behind the scenes today of what a setup looks like. Today's theme is Winter Wonderland. Um, it's our Christmas theme and I am going to give you a little look into how we set up and the activities that are involved in today's session. So our play sessions are called The Way We Play and the reason behind that is to distinguish ourselves as being different to most other toddler groups. What I really wanted to create with The Way We Play was a developmentally appropriate play group. So a lot of playgroups will ask children to sit down for a long time or follow adult-led instructions and a lot of the time if you take your children to these they do want to get up and move around and do what they want to do. So what we do is provide familiarity in our sessions with there's always six activities, they know that when they come into the room that they can move around, but we change the theme each week so that adds in the interest. But what I really wanted to do with these playgroups is make sure that the children were free to explore their current interests and weren't fixed on what an adult was telling them to do at a specific time. So the children come for an hour and they play with the activities in whatever order they want um, and that's really what I wanted to create when I created The Way We Play. Okay, I'm all set up. I'm a bit hot, <laughs> as always. It is not a very nice day outside, so I'm hoping all the children are very excited to get out of the drizzle and the wind and come and enjoy some indoor play today. So I'm gonna give you a little look round the different activities. Uh, we actually have 15, I think, different themes that we rotate on a weekly basis. So when um, families book in with us, they book in for a term generally, and that term runs between six and eight weeks. And in that six to eight weeks, they get a different theme every week. And then we add in some seasonal themes as well. So like this time we've got Winter Wonderland, obviously Winter Wonderland won't come back again until next Christmas. Um, so this is kind of a one-off um, theme. But I will show you around the activities and something to note is that when I'm planning the different stations, there tends to be six different stations in each theme, my number one criteria is what are the children learning? So um, a lot of kind of sensory trays you might see on Pinterest or Instagram look lovely, but what are the children doing or what are the children learning? Um, because if there's not a doing or a learning, children lose interest very, very quickly. Um, and obviously we don't want that in a playgroup that people are paying for because they want their children to be engaged. So I will try to um, articulate for you what the children are learning um, at each station so that it keeps them engaged. So let's go have a look around our Winter Wonderland theme. Okay, so as soon as we come into the room, I tend to put something that is quite um, enticing for the children. Obviously all the trays are hopefully enticing but this one is quite familiar. Children will know that it's a tree um, and so for children who are a little bit overwhelmed, which it is overwhelming and that's very very normal, it's something that they can um, immediately come into and know what to do. Um, so down here we have a basket of decorations and what I've done to just adapt it for our children is put a pipe cleaner as the loop because obviously that's so much easier than those kind of little wire ones for children to actually place so everything is on a little pipe cleaner and we've also got some candy canes so they can decorate our tree and of course we've got some tinsel and then my job through the sessions is essentially to mingle and reset the station so that as a child moves around the room the station is how it should be um, obviously you don't want your child going to the sixth station after doing all the other five and it'd be a complete mess and all the resources aren't there, they're all spread around the room and they wouldn't get the same experience. So what I do and like I will do with the tree is I will just continually, when no one's playing with it, I'll just reset it and put all the decorations back in the baskets so that it's ready for the next child to come and decorate because obviously if it's already decorated there's nothing for the child to do. So when I'm talking about what are children learning with this one, well this is obviously learning about um, familiar concepts and traditions so decorating a tree, 
Um, most children will have experience of that. Um, but also this is all working on fine motor skills as well, um, being able to place specifically onto the tree. And over here we have a water activity. We tend to have a water activity in most sessions. This is what I'm calling our winter soup. So in here is water. We have some of these kind of plastic snowflakes. We have felt snowflakes. We have baubles, which I have hot glued so the water doesn't get in, so we don't have any problems with mold. And then we have these felt um, snowflakes. And then around, because obviously, you know, children will stick their hands in and have the sensory experience of that. But what are the children learning? So around the tray, we've got lots of sieves, and over there we've got some big ladles. So again, this is hand-eye coordination of being able to pick something up. They could transfer it between ladles or between sieves as well. Um, so that one is, and it's great for the babies that come um, these floor trays because they're able to sit around and um, experience if they're not quite able to stand yet. I always put um, tea towels as well in our water activities so that everyone can dry their hands. Moving over here, we have our small world play. So here is the North Pole. We have our little um, workshop up here, Santa in his sleigh. We've got some of our Lankacade um, wooden um, figures as well. And so this is just to do some small world play. So we've got our little figures dotted around, Santa, some elves, some presents, and um, it's just to um, experience playing in a familiar setting. So most children at this time of year will know about the North Pole and Santa, um, and they'll be able to create their little stories if they're old enough to do so. We're also adding in here a sensory base with a selection of pom-poms in this section. We've also got um, this kind of crinkle paper as our snow, and then we also have these bells. Then over here, we have our snowballs. So we have these giant snowball pom-poms. We have our snow shovels. And then, obviously, what are we learning? Again, it's hand-eye coordination, so being able to scoop up the snowballs um, and put them into a wagon and drive them along. And then when we're thinking about schemas, this is also supporting children who love the rotation schema because we're able to roll along things. And also children who are in the containment schema love this, being able to fill and empty the trolleys. They'll be obsessed with this. Over here, we have our hot chocolate station. So here we're using food as a sensory base. So these are just um, Cocoa Pops and we've got um, some pom-poms as our little marshmallows, some cups, spoons, scoops, tongs, all working our fine motor skills. Again, using a familiar thing for most children, being able to scoop and pour um, is one of our skills here as well. And obviously we're using something that's taste safe. And then an activity over here, we have our snowman building. So I wanted to do a snowman activity, but I didn't quite know how to do it um, in a way that all our children will be able to access. So this was what I came up with in the end. So I got these um, little bottles with, and I made the little snowman faces on them. Um, so this is really working children's um, fine motor skills of being able to there I am, trying to do it one-handed, <laughs> trying to undo the bottle. And then they can either use the tongs we provide. Most of our older children will use the tongs. Our younger children will use um, pincer grasp. So they'll be just picking up and putting it into the bottle to make a little snowman. So that's our setup for today. I'll try to get a few little um, images of some of the children playing, obviously, with no faces in. Um, but if there's any questions that you have about our sessions, pop it in the comments down below. Um, what I'll try to do is I'll link a lot of the stuff as well if you're interested in either providing this for your own children or maybe running a class yourself. Uh, so yeah, so off we start with our Winter Wonderland theme. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.